Yeah, so my name is uh, Diogo Simoic, as you can see here. I'm a local guide from Sintra. He was born and raised here. And uh, basically been doing this since I was uh, 19 years old. At the time I was still in high school when I started in 2018. And yeah, it's a job I really like, so I will be, I will be glad to show you guys uh, my hometown, the place where I live and where I grew up, and uh, tell you all of the stories about the, the monuments and the local legends and traditions that we have here. So uh, yeah, pleasure to meet you all, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm pretty sure you will, because I'm, I'm confident in my ability to uh, make a good tour, so uh, yeah, we'll see. So this here, if you uh, look at it, it's called the Truff Seir, and this was created here in Sintra just like these ones as well. These are the quejadas and these are the trofseiros. The trofseiro is basically you have sugar on top and egg cream in the middle and the quejadas is fresh cheese and cinnamon. These ones are really crusty and they're both really good and they were created here in Sintra. Like I said, like I said they sell them all over Portugal but here is where uh, they're really the best and they got the original recipe. Right, no matter how hot it is, the water will always be fresh, clean and no chemicals. Let's try it out. Pretty good. Diogo is right. <laughs> Clean water, no chemicals, guys. Go ahead and fill them up, guys. Really good, always fresh. Also, you see these squares around them. Uh, back then, originally, when the fountain was uh, fully uh, built, these squares used to have like uh, amazing tile paintings. If you look to the other side, you actually see some tiles. And back then, we had beach, you know, like Miami, for example. <laughs> Hotels, stuff like that. And yeah, you can see everything from here. And from here, if you look back, you can actually see the palace as well. Look, oh, yeah. you see the oh, Pina yeah. Palace? And this is the reason why the, the guy who built this who was a mason built this palace here. Now, the palace uh, was built as the main Masonic palace in Portugal and uh, the purpose of this palace uh, was to make this well that you see here. A lot of people call this the inverted tower, which is uh, getting interested in Spanish music. For example, if they like a Spanish uh, musician, it would be a very easy way for them to uh, simulate the words say, yeah. and, and learn. Restaurant near the beach, uh, so you guys can go uh, have a nice meal. And then after I will be going with you to the Cabo de Roca, most western point in all of Europe, and showing you the coast all the way to Cascais. Hey guys, so now we are on the most western point in all of Europe and on the other side we got basically the American continent, most precisely Washington DC. It's actually a good time now, we have the sunset almost uh, here and we got some uh, amazing uh, coast views for the west coast of Sintra and to the left to the coast of Cascais where we're going next. Uh, over here we have like the cross with the coordinates, sea level, altitude, longitude and it's pretty much a uh, a very popular destination here in Sintra, uh, especially I would say uh, with Chinese people. I find a lot of people from China here. For them this was also the end of the world because they come all the way from the Asian continent down here. It's also the most uh, western point for them as well. So yeah, it's a very popular place. Not so crowded at the time we're visiting now, which is actually good because we get like uh, more space for ourselves and to get some nice pictures as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right. Thank you pictures here on the coordinates and stuff so down here we got the uh, latitude, longitude, altitude and then uh, basically I will translate what uh, says here so we got Cabo de Roca here uh, is where the land ends and the sea begins now Camões was a, a very famous Portuguese poet and he basically wrote the epic tales of Portugal traveling through the sea and going to India by epic tales, I mean like the tales of uh, Ulysses, you know, it's an epic tale, well, it describes the true events, but it also adds a bit of fantasy, like sea monsters and stuff like that, and he basically wrote the most popular book in, uh, in Portugal, which only became famous after his death, so he wasn't actually a famous person when he was alive, but he is the most popular uh, poet writer of Portugal, and he wrote this sentence here about this place, which at the time uh, in which he was alive, uh, all of the, the people uh, in Portugal and in Europe overall believe that this was like the end of the world. 